Hello and welcome to the stage 11 review. In stage 11, we met a group of verbs that take the dative and we learned some new ways of asking questions. By the end of stage 11, you should recognize the verbs that take the dative. In this chapter, we did credo, I trust in or I believe, faweo, I favor or support, and plaque, it is pleasing. How do you know that you have a verb that takes the dative? Because you learn this when you learn the verb. You, it'll tell you so in the vocab checklist or on Quizlet. We should also understand the terms transitive. A transitive verb takes an accusative direct object. An intransitive, an intransitive verb does not take an accusative direct object. So credo and faweo and plaque because they take the dative, are examples of one kind of intransitive verb. You should also be able to recognize and translate questions, including those introduced by the question words ne and num. So let's talk in more detail about these questions. So we'll start though with a statement, kenam paras. That's just a statement, you prepare dinner or you are preparing dinner. We can turn that statement into a question just by adding a question mark at the end. So, kenam paras, with a question mark, do you prepare dinner? Are you preparing dinner? Another way to turn this into a question is to add just not a question mark, but also this little word ne, and ne attaches to the first word of the question. No matter what that first word is, ne attaches to it like a little parasite. And we don't translate it. It's just like a little sign attached to the first word of the sentence that says, this is a question. So, kenam ne paras? Do you prepare dinner? Are you preparing dinner? So, ne just shows us that we have a question, but we don't translate it. Finally, we can ask questions by putting num at the beginning. Now, num we are going to translate. So, num means that this is a question and it wants the answer no. So, the book tells us to translate it with surely not. So, we want the answer no. So, num kenam paras, surely you are not preparing dinner. Actually, in American English, we do this in a sort of confusing way. What we usually do in English when we want the answer no is something like this. You aren't preparing dinner, are you? I think the book finds that too complex to explain, so they give you the surely not formula, and that'll work fine. However you translate a sentence that begins with num, a question that begins with num, make sure that you're translating it in a way that makes it clear that you expect the answer no. And as always, you should know all the words in the Stage 11 vocab checklist, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. Um, they're in the book, but they're also on Quizlet, and that's a great way to study them.